Hi makers, this is Nara from Neat Leaks. We have something very special for this week episode that we think you will enjoy. We've put together a list of local yarn stores I visited since Yarn Over the Globe began in April. We've organized them by country and we hope this list will come in handy if you happen to visit any of these locations. La Bien Aimé, a yarn company adapting to the times. Aimé Gilly needs no introduction. She's the one of the most influential people in our industry and her yarns are highly coveted by makers all over the world. I visited her pop-up store and was impressed by Amy's attention to detail in every aspect of the shop. So thank you, Amy, for your invitation and hospitality. La Droguerie, a French family business for unique DIY projects. La Droguerie is a French family business that has been providing fashion accessories for 40 years. In this shop, customers can find exclusive ideas, fabrics, patterns, knitting yarns, earring mounts, notebooks, zippers and bias binding. They offer a wide range of supplies like beads, buttons, ribbons and more to help customers create their own unique garments. Whether you want to customize your bags, make a pair of earrings, knit a hat, replace a button or knit a gift for a newborn, this shop has everything you need. Their staff will guide you through every step of the way. This is a must-see destination for us makers that visit Paris. Le Wissel is a new independent yarn store in Paris that offers a unique and local selection of yarns. The store is located in a charming shopping alley and features two sides of different local brands. You can find a great selection of local and regional yarns near the front cache, as well as the standard European yarns from Italy and many other countries on the other side. It is indeed a hidden gem for any yarn lover. The staff is super friendly and speaks excellent English. You should try it for your next yarn adventure in Paris. Le Tricote Volant is a Parisian yarn shop with a great selection of yarns and supplies. Their friendly and unique service is a must visit for any yarn lover. The owner can help new knitters in selecting the right yarn and providing color advice. They offer a variety of yarn weights, pattern books, needles and notions. The shop also has a curated selection of handspun yarns for sale. This super original yarn shop is housed in a vintage truck and stops in different spots around Mulhouse to sell its products. Anna and Juan's Atelier, a yarn shop located in a commercial neighborhood on the outskirts of Zurich. There, I met Josefina, a lovely Argentinian artist living in Switzerland for many years. With a background in textile design, she founded her brand when she arrived in Zurich. All of their yarns are hand dyed with natural ingredients and come with a twist of design which sets them apart from other brands. As soon as I entered the atelier, it was evident that every space was filled with tasteful decorations, accessories, furniture, plants, all crafted to complement their universe. 
Of course, I bought some DK yarn to review and chose the indigo color because it can be used multiple times, resulting in different shades with each dye bath. This was a sustainable way to use and reuse the same ingredients and create different yarn colors. Nova Lana, the shop is not very big, but it has everything a maker needs to work. Yarn, accessories, patterns, notions and publications. The variety of colors, fibers and prices was impressive. The expert staff supported the clients every step on the way. Tracy's studio was a true treasure trove filled with high-quality materials for skilled makers, such as yarns of all colors, hand-spun by her or other talented yarn artists. I was astonished by her impressive craft skills, from knitting and crocheting to sewing, embroidering and drawing, not to mention her eight spinning wheels. Trace is a master of her craft. Her passion for sharing everything she creates with the world impressed me and inspired me. She even publicly opens her studio twice a week to sell her beautiful yarns and handmade garments and accessories. Ginger Twist Studio, located at 11 London Road, is a treasure trove for knitting enthusiasts. The charming wool shop offers a delightful selection of yarns, pattern books and accessories. What sets this shop apart is its unique collection of hand-dyed yarns. The owner Jess hand dyes the yarns herself, make them unique. The shop is open from Wednesday to Sunday, which gives you ample time to visit and explore. The location is also very convenient, within walking distance from the city center. To know more about their products, visit their website. Be Inspired Fibers, located next to Edinburgh University, is another must-visit yarn shop in the city. The shop offers an extensive collection of luxury, hand-dyed, specialty and exotic yarns sourced from all over the world. Whether you are a knitter, a crocheter, weaver or fiber artist, you will find something that tickles your fancy. Moreover, the shop is open from Tuesday to Sunday from 12 to 4 pm, so you have plenty of time to explore their collection. If you need more time to visit the shop, they offer online shopping also. Kathy's passion for knitting truly shines through and it's fantastic to see how she turned her dream into a reality by opening her knitting shop in 2012. Her shop features yarns produced in Scotland and the rest of the British island, some of the best in the world. My visit to her shop was nothing short of fantastic and already can't wait to go back. Thank you, Kathy. I took some free hours in Glasgow to go to the Yarn Cake, Scotland's premier knitting cafe, where visitors can indulge in two of life's greatest pleasure in one place. Yarn and Cake The shop opened its cozy doors in Glasgow's West End in October 2010, and since then it has received rave reviews. Whether a customer is a crafter, a cake lover or both, the Yarn Cakes friendly and experienced team is always available to assist. 
visitors of Glasgow, please visit the Yarn Cake soon. Well, that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, we would be super grateful if you could give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future content. And if you are on Instagram, give us a follow there too. Thanks so much for your support. We appreciate it. We can't wait to see you next week.